Sergio, um, today you spoke about electrification and autonomous driving. Once again, uh, you seems, uh, your voice seems a bit different from all your competitors. So you don't see electrification and, as you know, the solution with this, we solve all the issues for the auto industry. But it won't. I, and I, I think the only thing I tried to say today, I don't know whether I was successful given the heat, is that we need to be absolutely open about the technology solutions that will prevail. I've seen too many people bet the horse and saying this is the answer. Because of the time frame that has now been chosen in Europe and because of the fact that we need to meet, meet the CO2 legislations um, by 2020, we have to electrify. But if you tell me that 10 years from now that's the answer, the answer is no. I think we will find better ways to do this. I think with the advent of solar energy, of wind, anything that allows us to convert water into hydrogen and find refueling stations that can allow us to do this. The combination of all this will go a long, long way. But it's too early to call it a day. I think it's too early to assume that, that by itself that electrification will solve the problems. It won't. Do you see like the auto industry at risk? Uh, you know, there's a threat by new industry participant technology disruptor? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think the biggest fear that I see is that we're going to be left behind by people who will have somehow found the right basis on, I mean, they have a better mousetrap. We're, we're, we're too slow. We come from a very old industry. I mean, it's, we've been around for 100 years. Yeah. Um, for us to make a decision, it takes forever. You know, if you see Tesla, I'm not defending Elon, as you well know. I don't think that economic model works. But if you know Elon, Elon moves at the speed of a, of a rocket. You know, I mean, it will take us a while for this industry to try and match that, that timing. We need, to, we need to match that timing. I spent part of Thursday, I just came back from the U.S., but I spent part of Thursday and Friday talking to some people from Silicon Valley. They live in a different world. Eh? Their economics are completely different. But they believe that value exists where we would, not, we would never see value. And so the, the way in which we interconnect with them and the way in which we let them in, it's probably the easiest way for us to maintain our, exi our existence and our independence. It doesn't take anything away from the fact that, this, that the capital junkie pitch that I made three years ago, in which, by the way, I'm not going to repeat to anybody, I'm done preaching. Okay. But that so argument is valid then, it's valid. So that means, you know, to end every kind of speculation, that at the moment you don't have any big deal on the table? I have no big deal on the table. The, the big deal that I have is two things. Making the 18 plan, yeah. working on the 22 plan, and finding my success. And, and uh, Marelli spin-off will be part of the 2022 plan. Yeah. Did you discuss it at the board? Yes. We would likely see Marelli like listed like you did with the Ferrari. I think that's my personal opinion yeah. is that's the best answer. So you list a stake and then you spin off. Like you list the stake next year and then you may spin off at the end of next year. Like yeah, or I may just spin. So all the shareholders of SCA get the same piece of paper. Which is the best way to release value because there is undoubtedly a multiple arbitrage that has to be so sorted out. Um, but it's also the right thing for Morelli. Morelli needs to find its own voice. Right? Being part of an OEM is not... Yeah. And, and in terms of the 18 plans, you're on track? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Today is, today is the first business day of October, so I've got to be careful. The end of September was Friday or Saturday. Yeah. We'll find out. So you, you said uh, at the, in July that uh, if you raise target, you do it end of 3Q. Is there a chance? This year? Under normal circumstances, I would have told you yes, given the way the euro is moving, we're going to, we're going to do nothing. Okay. Not because it's, I just don't know about the euro. Yeah. I think the business are okay. Look, I mean, I, and I think, you know, we were we was in the U.S., well, the board was there for a couple of days, but, but the management team was there. And we spent quite a bit of time looking at the launches for the end of the year. Actually. The Wrangler is going into production in less than five weeks. You know, you got these, some of the big, you know, the pickup truck is going to production in January. These are massive, massive launches. So all hands on deck right now to make sure that we get all the stuff out and get it done right. It's a big deal.